Hi, this is Professional. This is just a little follow-up video really quickly about how to configure Fiddler so you can interface with applications based on the Windows 10 framework that you get from the Microsoft App Store and stuff like that. Like sometimes if you use Fiddler you'll have a problem trying to get the actual traffic to appear in this application when you're interfacing with Windows 10 apps, not just exe files. So the way that you want to like um, configure Fiddler to work with these programs is you want to go to win config up in the top left here. You want to click yes. You want to make it you want to click yes on all of the little exceptions that come up through this whole thing. There might be a few of them, there might only be one. Pretty much what you've got here, and I'll like make it bigger so you can see it. You've got all of the applications that you've got, like Windows Store applications that have been installed to your PC. Um, now, what you would want to do is you would want to go through and you would want to select the ones that you want to mess with. So, I've selected basically all of them, but you don't have to do that. So, you would want to select the applications that you're working with. So, for this video, I'm just going to say you would tick. Xbox console companion, Xbox avatar editor, Xbox original avatar editor and any other Xbox applications you might want to mess with. Now, you would then click save changes and then you would close this window. This will only get you half of the way there if you've never used Fiddler before. Um, one of the main steps that you've got to do to actually start working with and manipulating some of the traffic that you want to capture is actually go to the HTTPS tab, which is right here. And when you go on this tab, normally this decrypt HTTPS traffic button will be unticked. So you would tick it and then a bunch of notifications should come up and you should have to accept like a request. If that does not come up, you can click this button here and it does the same thing. So um, you would click this and then you would click yes and then you would click yes again and then you would also click yes one more time and then you would click OK. Now, Fiddler is ready to capture and manipulate any network traffic for any application that you've decided that you want to mess with. Let's open up Xbox console, console Companion, for example. Bear with me while it loads. Okay, now you would grab the t process target thing. You would select the Xbox app. You would remove all traffic so it's filtered through. Basically now you are getting traffic coming through Xbox Live. It's decrypted it's not like encrypted getting all of the asset images and stuff like that of people's profile pictures things yeah you know random stuff um then what you can do from there example is you might want to grab all of the people in a club and get all of their qids you would go here you would click on a club let's say this one go to Fiddler and then you would look for the people hub link that says batch sorry I'm just trying to like scroll it up so it works then you drag that there that's all the XUIDs of all of the people that like it's captured from that group you know you can go to people's friends lists you can capture information from there you can you can send a message to someone, you can read like what data is being sent, like you can read the information that's being submitted when you log into a Microsoft account. You can do a lot of interesting stuff with this application. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can use it to capture traffic from the Windows Store application and then you can actually capture the download links for the AP px files stored on the marketplace and you can download the raw um files 
and then you can manually like install them to your PC like standalone outside of the marketplace and send them to people and back them up in case they get removed. To be fair, this could also work on paid applications, but I can't like guarantee that. Um trying to think of anything else I can cover in this application to make it easier for people to use this, but I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Oh yeah, so, um, if you want to find a specific piece of text, you can use the control F function, and then you can type whatever you want here. You can make it so that you're searching through the URLs, stuff like that. Um, makes it very it makes it things a lot easier for when you're trying to actually look for something and mess around. What I recommend is this is a very broad space to sort of explore and mess with. Don't look at it with a narrow mind. Think of it outside of the box. Not many people have really worked with these like network traffic manipulation applications with these sorts of um, tool sets before and stuff like that especially not to like interface with xbox and the way i see it is um the longer that this is out the more likely it is to get patched but like the more that you can really like do in a sense of you know finding more exploits more cool things to do like you can mod your avatar you can spam messages you can do you can do a lot of cool stuff and like basically you can do things that bypass like content restrictions on avatar items and stuff like the amount of things that you can do through fiddler just with xbox alone blows my mind but like it doesn't stop there you can manipulate discord you can manipulate like in any application you can even think of on a windows pc so yeah Keep an open mind and just use this program wisely. Don't do anything stupid. Don't get yourself in trouble. Don't hurt people with it. That's about it.